हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार दोस्तों वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू अनदर एडिशन ऑफ संडे एनालिसिस विद एस डी एंड आई एम एस डी शानंद दास मल्टी एसेट ट्रेडिंग एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट स्पेशलिस्ट अगर आप चाहो तो मेरे साथ जुड़ सकते हो via elonmarkets.com i'm associated with them and my courses run with them and special thanks to youtube members hd members who have recently joined in this is a vote of uh, confidence thank you so much for that and that's why ye video will be released first for you so that you have enough time to watch it and later for the general public and also special thanks to just general public for showing interest in my video so let's start jahan sam log chalu karte hain this is a very important analysis this will uh, give us idea how we should place our trades kaisa hona chahiye hum log ka overall strategic approach towards multi asset trading and investing so yahan pe uh, we'll start with last week ke important data we are in the trading economics and we are using the three star matlab most important data kyunki previous week hai so most important what shook the market is this core inflation data core inflation this is the us inflation numbers which was 3.8% higher than what was expected monthly it grew at 0.4% even this is astonishing at this cycle when the federal reserve interest rate is already quite at high jo scenario ke bare mein hum log baat kar rahe the i have warned that interest rate shock and what if what if inflation does not come down so isme wo risk and more interest rate shock ka risk towards the dollar dollar financing cost risk is going up next jo important event tha that was उससे पहले चाइना का इन्फ्लेशन डेटा विच वॉज वेरी वीक सो डिफ्लेशनरी प्रेशर इज देयर इन चाइना नेक्स्ट जो इम्पोर्टेंट डिसीशन था दैट वॉज यूरोपियन सेंट्रल बैंक इंटरेस्ट रेट डिसीशन ऑन थर्सडे जहां पे एज एक्सपेक्टेड दे डिड नॉट डू एनीथिंग बट वेरी लाइकली फ्रॉम देयर कम्युनिकेशन वो क्लियर हो गया दे आर द वेरी लाइकली टू मूव अहेड ऑफ द फेडरल रिजर्व क्योंकि इन्फ्लेशन हैज कम डाउन इन्फ्लेशन यूरोप में फास्टर नीचे के तरफ आया है सो so, इसके वजह से जो थीम के बारे में हम लोग बात किए थे इन द करेंसी मार्केट दैट द सेंट्रल बैंक पॉलिसी डाइवर्जेंस दैट इज वन ऑफ द वेरी प्रॉफिटेबल थीम ऑफ द करेंसी मार्केट दैट इज प्लेइंग आउट दैट मीन्स डॉलर इंटरेस्ट रेट लाइकली टू रिमेन हायर द शॉर्ट टर्म इंटरेस्ट रेट वेर यूरोपियन सेंट्रल बैंक एंड suppose swiss national bank which has already moved and bank of england may move fast so these expectations are creating a policy divergence between the central banks and that is likely to continue to fuel the us dollar this is the bad situation where dollar is going up and also commodity is going up that is really a not a very good news for risky assets like equities and not a very good news for the emerging markets this is called basically generally transfer of uh, dollar inflation to other currencies next jo hum log karenge that is the recent or this week is week jab hum log kar rahe hain then we will do sorry we will do recent and we will do two star data two star data jo important hai मंडे से नेक्स्ट वीक सिग्निफिकेंटली इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा है नहीं कोई बट एक टू फैक्टर्स पे हमें ध्यान रखना होगा कि सम ऑफ द फेड स्पीकर्स लाइक डाली एंड अदर्स दे विल बी देयर उनसे क्या कम्युनिकेशन आ रहा है और उससे के साथ बॉन्ड मार्केट में रिएक्शन वन इज रिटेल सेल्स कैसा आता है डेटा अगर वीक आता है देन द बॉन्ड मार्केट रिएक्शन अगर स्ट्रॉन्ग आता है देन द बॉन्ड मार्केट रिएक्शन बॉन्ड मार्केट कैसे बिहेव कर रहा है इन द यूएस इंटरेस्ट रेट मार्केट आफ्टर स्पेशली द इंफ्लेशन डेटा सेकेंड जो है पॉलिसी डाइवर्जेंस पॉलिसी डाइवर्जेंस में इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा होगा दिस दिस इज द जर्मनी का होलसेल प्राइस यूएस यूके का अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट यूके का अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट वी कैन हैव अ लुक एट द कैनाडा कोर इंफ्लेशन रेट मतलब 
what's the inflation in us what about the other countries we have inflation data from uk so this will be very important for uh, pound agar this comes weak gbp might go for a bigger drop and that is a very very likely scenario but main theme jo gbp ko push karega is governor andrew bailey ka speech which will kind of clear out what is the policy outlook in the going ahead market unke speech se ye dhoondne ki koshish karega rather uske ilawa we don't have major important data we have a lot of data which are that will tell us about the economy not anything ground shattering data lot of fed speakers bank of england uh, ke kai sare speakers so lot of central bank speakers so hame dhyan rakhna hoga do theme ke upar on the bond side what is the interest rate us interest rate is going after the next week on this high inflation data second what is happening to the policy divergence after canada germany wholesale rate and uk inflation what is andrew bailey telling us regarding gbp and the interest rate outlook these are few things to look at on the this data point side iske ilawa market mein ek weakness dikh raha hai uske upar bhi hame dhyan rakhna hoga so let's go to further analysis hum log different different macro analytics karte hain currently today i will look at a few sentiment indicator and let me show you what's happening around the world ek main zarur uh, nazar rakhta hu that is the चाइना से जो फ्रेट इंडेक्स फ्रेट इंडेक्स का फॉल हैज ब्रॉडली स्टेबिलाईजिंग सो दिस इज द पॉजिटिव न्यूज फॉर चाइना जो जियो पोलिटिकल सिनारियो में वी कीप ऑन लुकिंग एट द सुज कैनाल में इफ शिप नंबर ऑफ शिप्स दैट आर इज टेकिंग अ टर्न एक स्मॉल टर्न ले रहा है बट दिस फार अवे फ्रॉम बींग नॉर्मल मिडल ईस्ट में क्राइसिस नॉर्मल नहीं हुआ रिसेंटली लेटेस्ट थ्रेट इशू हुआ है फ्रॉम ईरान एंड इज़राइल ईरान इज रिपोर्टेडली एलिजेडली प्लानिंग एन अटैक ऑन इज़राइल एवरीथिंग इज वेरी इन हाई अलर्ट इन मिडल ईस्ट एंड दैट इज आल्सो क्रिएटिंग वोलेटिलिटी अक्रॉस सम ऑफ द एसेट क्लास इक्विटी एज वेल एज एनर्जी प्राइसेस क्रूड ऑयल गोल्ड एक्सेट्रा so this is one except other than this i look at the sentiment index one of them is cnn fear and greed index this has taken a dive after reaching excessive greed level matlab market thoda excessive mein chala gaya tha and after that a sharp fall is coming in the level of greed it is heading towards the fear level now the sharp drop looks like ye jo latest market fall ho raha hai across the globe उसके ऊपर थोड़ा ध्यान रखना चाहिए इट इज नॉट इट मे नॉट बी द नॉर्मल ये नेस्डेक 50 एंड 100 स्टॉक अब 50 डे मूविंग एवरेज नंबर ऑफ स्टॉक्स अब 200 डे मूव नंबर ऑफ स्टॉक्स अब 50 डे मूविंग एवरेज हैज शार्पली फॉलन दिस इज शोइंग दैट मार्केट का जो ओवरऑल ब्रेड्थ है इट इज नॉट गोइंग वेल a uh, lot of stocks are seeing fault whereas majority of the market still remains well above 200 period moving average about 67% of them above 200 but only 34 is above the 50 day moving average snp 500 agar dekhenge compared to 2023 to sorry 2024 march अगर फेब्रुअरी भी इंक्लूड करेंगे मार्च में जो बुलिशनेस हम लोग देखे थे दैट काइंड ऑफ बुलिशनेस इज येट टू बी सीन इन द मंथ ऑफ अप्रैल सो नॉट रियली अ ग्रेट टाइम टू फॉर द इक्विटीज के लिए काफी नॉट सो हेल्दी सिचुएशन राइट नाउ इसके अलावा हम लोग देखेंगे और एक चीज वर्ल्ड ग्लोबल इक्विटी मार्केट अब द टू डे मूविंग एवरेज okay this is the one sorry this is world global equity by country global equity indices above 200 period moving average 
84% of the equity indices are above 200 period moving average. Matlab, in the longer time frame, still bulls are ruling. Let's look at the performance. Let's go for Forex. Let's look at the performance for the past one week. US dollar remains the king. And majority of the other currencies are seeing a downturn in the last week. Dollar is strong. And that is what I'm talking about. The central bank policy divergence and high interest rate ka impact. So this is situation hai where dollar is going up and commodities, especially gold, silver is finding a bid because high interest rate means in future, the US government ka duration, hai, that is more short term duration bonds. That means US government will have to print more to pay interest rates. That is what fueling the gold, silver, especially along with some other factors. That, so despite the strong dollar, gold, silver has done well. And over the last one month, agar dekha jai, the one and only king is the US dollar. Our Indian rupee has done broadly well. RBI is doing whatever it takes, almost like situation to manage it. Uh, it has cut down the trading, speculative trading in Indian national NSE contracts. It has barred the exchange traded funds and mutual funds to invest in foreign assets. There is a tax imposed. This is not RBI. This is tax imposed or FEMA Act. This is tax imposed by the government. Beyond 7 lakhs, you are sending 20% tax rate if you send assets abroad per annum per person. So dollar is broadly strong and strong dollar is definitely a headwind for the commodities. So not every commodity has done very well. So once again, last one month, cocoa, cocoa crisis, which we about, that is signaling no stop. Cocoa is continuously going up. This is a supply side issue. Hai, and when commodity mein supply side issue, hota, it does not stop is very easily. And this is a time pe, uh, situation hai, when overall, uh, the demand for chocolates is going up globally, especially in the emerging markets. So supply side ke crisis, ke, I don't know where it is going to stop. At some point, definitely, uh, it is supply demand, the price effect, the economy will set in. But current crisis, no stoppage in cocoa. A strong comeback in platinum, that is interesting because platinum is a precious group of metal. Strong comeback in palladium. So platinum, palladium, gold, silver, these are performing quite strong. But last week, palladium and platinum saw a strong comeback. Jo archa perform nahi kiya hai, that is more like the crude oil a bit, sugar, a lot of soft commodities, heating oil, they did not do very well. And metals, after a great performance, they have stopped a bit. Because metals may jo fundamental hame chahiye, supply demand ka currently is not there. The carve is uh, the forward carve is still in backwardation mode. Backwardation mode may carve which is not uh, 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 sorry, carve is in a contango mode. Very sorry for that. Carve is in a contango mode, forward carve, jo bullish name. So we need a backwardation carve for that. So last one month, uh, what we saw a strong performance by some of the metals. So last is me thoda performance wane ho gaya metals ka even precious metal segment me last friday we saw a sharp sell off after a steady rise let's look at the stocks stock market overall some of the latin america market like argentina and also turkish market are doing well broadly stock market ka performance divergence aa raha performance mein Last one week, if we look at majority of the stock market face downside pressure, some odd stock market has shown some strength like this Argentina, uh, Turkey, Taiwan is definitely semiconductor based economy, new startups, they have seen a uh, comeback. But just may humlog broadly invest karte, except for the Nikkei and FTSE, we did not majority uh, saw sell off. Let's go to some of the charts. So charts pe pehle indices ko dekhte hain.
and weekly chart you look at dow big red candle look at snp 500 after a hanging man red candle nasdaq a two red back to back red candle russell a stronger sell off after a sort of gravestone or doji formation uh, you can consider this as an evening star as well nikkei is struggling euro stocks or downside pressure dax downside pressure vix saw uptick so overall a global market mein jo equity picture hai let's go to the map Map me, let's go to the wall. Look at last one day. It's fully red. Reddish picture. This is last manage asset allocation ki baat kiya tha. I told you to simmer down uh, equity ka bets. And this is quite a good reason to slow down on the equity bets. There is a strong sell-off is going on. India is still not somewhat impacted. So last three or six months mein jo bullish hum log move dekhe the strong bullish move across the globe that is somewhat fading. Look at the last one week across the globe picture and look at the last one day across the globe, uh, jo global uh, important stocks unke picture. Uh, let, let's come back to the equity. Equity, uh, let's go to the charts. And let's look at now the energy segment. Energy segment, crude oil is strong. Last day it saw a sell-off. It has maybe made a doji, a pause. Similar Brent crude oil a pause, gasoline with the doji a pause. Broadly, a pause ki ilawa, we are not seeing a bearish movement. Jaape rather market is stagnated, that is the heating oil, natural gas, a chota range ke under operate kar hai, and ethanol as well. So bond price, agar dekha jai, bond price have been going down because interest rate pressure have been there. 30 year bonds, 10 year, 5 year sell off can be seen across the uh, board. So but last day we uh, saw a dip in interest rate and bond price was uh, down, bond price was up. That is let's look at the daily chart. You saw a green jump in the bond uh, bond tick. Now this can be a dead can dead cat bounce. Technically, if you say it, then if you say it, you can say big move. Ke baad, thoda bounce back, a dead cat bounce. But it can be a bit more than this dead cat bounce, especially when interest rates are strong. This is the Middle East ka latest news aaya hai regarding Israel-Iran tension. Uh, which crude oil is very much involved. So there is, uh, that could be one of the reason ki flight to safety. And ye, uh, dimag mein lane ka reason ye hai ki dollar has been quite strong and short term bond has been better bid. So short term bonds ke taraf, that could be a movement towards safety. Usually we see towards long term bonds, but market is not sure with the long term how the inflation scenario play out karega. So short-term bonds are a much better bet right now if anyone looking for safety. So that can be a, one of the reasons which contributed to the green tick over there. Let's look at the soft commodity and soft commodity look at the big coffee. A big candle in daily chart. Cotton price is steadily going down, lumber going down, uh, which is not a very good news for US housing market. But the positive sense may good news, but if demand ke sense may not a very good news. Sugar price is done and cocoa, the supply crisis is continuing. So here we may see a jo coffee may big jump. Hua tha. Now coffee may see a stopover. Orange juice is consolidating. Sugar saw a big down move, which is likely to continue. And lumber down move is also continuing. Next, hum log dekh rahe, metal, gold. Silver, her ek mein big sell-off candle, bahut important level reach hua tha, strong sell-off aya. Lot of uh, log jo baad mein enter ki hai, they have got stuck. Main thoda apna derivative position halka kar diya. Uh, after seeing the big drop that was coming, crude oil mein position liya tha, 6 to 1, 7, sorry, 7 to 1, 7 India ke uh, price ke upar. Now, uh, that did not seem to be uh, worked out. Then we have squared off. 
so latest jo last round of jump did not work out in silver but am i really uh, bearish right now no not very uh, bearish on metal lot of copper it's a full marubozu candle we can see a shaped bottom type of candle gold silver despite the spike still looks a solid monthly breakout so i am bullish not may not be derivative right now to be jumping but overall uh, scenario pe i am still broadly bullish let's look at the meats meat mein feeder cattle live cattle lean hog ke price upar gaya hai this is very much related to china demand us ka supply related uh, factor isko affect karta hai grain has not been the commodity which has done well rough rice soybean oil charo taraf down trend dikhaya wheat wheat ka jo down trend kafi time se chalte aa raha hai after the russia ukraine crisis mein jo jump hua tha after that it has broadly been a down trend currencies agar dekha jaye us dollar strong up move we were previously aware euro strong down move japan down pound down all the currencies charts are broadly down and only the king dollar remains so iske sath sath ab hum log kya karenge we will go to the chart analysis chart analysis mein hum log dekhenge how we should be positioned i was looking at this platinum uh, long term charts not very bullish platinum is not like gold गोल्ड एम बुलिश सिल्वर एम बुलिश बट प्लेटिनम का कम बैक वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज प्लेटिनम इज इन द सेम ग्रुप साथ में पेलाडियम का कम बैक इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लेट्स लुक एट द पेलाडियम फ्यूचर्स सो आफ्टर अ रॉन्ग लॉन्ग 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 डाउन ट्रेंड इट्स अ स्ट्रॉन्ग कम बैक so i have not yet made up my mind how to do go with this platinum and uh, palladium comeback uh, if it's uh, can benefit from the ongoing hard ma asset major rotation usse i am not fully decided on that yet so uh, chaliye first day, let's look at the bonds and bonds may we we'll look at the long term bonds long term bonds this is what i have been warning from the chart ki ye ek bahut hi strong area se uh, support leke ja raha hai this interest rate can go up significantly uh, i'll not be surprised it soon takes the 5% level and possibly move higher uh, as per the chart structure not talking about fundamentally here because fed plays a role fed agar cut ka signal diya it can go down and it can play a significant role uh, rate ko guide karne mein but chart structure wise this is very likely to go up and this shock is uh, really becoming uh, towards more of a and this is not a make you panic this is more of a make you aware that this is a dollar financing cost uh, which is likely to go up to ye jo phase mein hum log long term bonds ke bare mein sochte hain हम लोग अब लॉन्ग टर्म बॉन्ड्स बाय करने के बारे में बिल्कुल ही नहीं सोचेंगे विद द इंटरेस्ट रेट्स नाउ गोइंग अप बॉन्ड प्राइस इज वेरी लाइकली विल बी सफरिंग सो बॉन्ड्स में दिस काइंड ऑफ पोजीशन करेंटली बिल्कुल नॉट रिकमेंडेड एट दिस मोमेंट इसके साथ साथ आई गो नाउ टू द एसेट एलोकेशन एंड सेक्टर रोटेशन सेक्टर रोटेशन में आई एम यूजिंग द एस एन पी फाइव इज अ बेंच and s&p 500 to gsg ratio this is the commodity jisme i have gone to maine bola ki commodity mein thoda exposure rakhna uh, will be a good thing to do at this point so gsg we are placing gsg is the global fund which tracks the i shares gsci commodity index ka return and gsg is is showing strength last ek bounce bounce down hua hai so and wo bahut natural tha this is a very important level but if this breaks down we'll see further up move in the global commodities so some portion of our portfolio can remain with the global commodity if we look at the s&p 500 to copper so yes it is visible that there is a move towards commodity uh, commodity performance have been much better whether it's oil where it's gold gold me strong asset rotation jo chal raha hai this is still somewhat if you look at the daily chart it is still continuing 
सो गोल्ड सिल्वर में जो हम लोग पोजिशन बैठाए हैं दैट इज क्वाइट गुड एज एसेट रोटेशन परस्पेक्टिव डेरिवेटिव की बात नहीं कर रहे हैं वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आवर पोर्टफोलियो डेरिवेटिव हम लोग एज पर स्ट्रेटेजी रूल शॉर्ट टर्म टाइम फ्रेम एंट्री एग्जिट करेंगे and this is the snp 500 to gold ratio looks like gold's outperformance to equities will continue should we go for uh, bonds now there is a move down compared to bonds did a bit well compared to the equities because last day uh, because interest rate move lower this could be a flight to safety but nothing tells ki abhi immediately hame bond tak jana chahiye if anyone is going into bond he is going for the interest rate khane ke liye means more on the shorter tenure bonds pe and shorter tenure bonds agar dekha jaye this is the shy which gives the shorter bonds exposure wo that is do, has done better in scenario mein in compared to the equity market so bonds may thoda short term bonds may rotation in your portfolio can be considered uh but bond may koi major exposure i'm still not thinking this is the first time ek bump dikh raha hai gold to bond mein uh matlab this flight to safety ka theory jo main bol raha hu this could be uh, the real one dikh raha hai gold to bond has done better in the last day and uh, this is the snp 500 to gold miners jisme hum log invest kar sakte hain with gdx it has also done better compared to the overall uh, market so portfolio kaisa rehna chahiye portfolio rehna chahiye thoda now towards short side a bit kyunki international indices ke sath dekhiye uh, we have found a short signal isko hum log enjoy kar payenge with the inverse exchange traded fund inverse etf so inverse exchange traded fund and usme sspy or is dow iske zariye yeah this is the for nasdaq this is snp 500 spxs then we have is dow iske zariye we can go short in the यूएस इम्पोर्टेंट जो इक्विटी फ्यूचर्स है उनपे हम लोग सॉरी इक्विटी जो इंडिसेस है उनपे हम लोग शॉर्ट पोजीशन लगा सकते हैं एंड सो एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड डाओ एंड नेस्डेक में मेरा जो बियरिश आउटलुक एक्सेप्ट नेस्डेक उतना बढ़िया नहीं किया है बट एस एन पी है डाओ स्पेशली डाओ है स्ट्रॉन्गली मूव लोअर एंड डाओ लुक सिग्निफिकेंटली वीक इट हैज ब्रोकन बिलो द लॉन्ग टर्म ट्रेंड लाइन सो This is really not a very good time लग रहा है इक्विटी के लिए अगर ये कंटिन्यूस बेसिस पे नीचे की तरफ प्रेशर आता रहा दिस इज गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट आवर इंडियन मार्केट एज वेल लास्ट डे जब हमारा क्लोजिंग के बाद आई वॉन्ट अबाउट दिस मूव आफ्टर द सी पी आई डेटा वही हुआ लास्ट डे वी सॉ अ सेल ऑफ इन इंडियन मार्केट एज वेल रासेल रासेल जो स्टॉक uh, इंडेक्स है फॉर मोर ऑफ a uh, small mid cap we saw a big down move in russell 2000 index this movement is not just into a uh, uh, us stock market it is visible in new zealand it is visible in australia dekhi australia sell off then it is visible in nikkei japan last day uh, nikkei saw some comeback but it's bearish it's visible in china china mein hamara jo bullish bets it did not work out it is better to have some exit and when once again wait for further opportunity and signals if we look at the singapore our bet did not work out the small scale position hum log lene ki baat kiye the singapore it did not work out exit so major jo equity market italy se hum log sell off se pehle hi exit ho gaye the sell off is intensifying Europe, then we have Spain. Italy ke baad Spain it is intensifying. Then we have Germany. Look at Germany, which is one of the one of the nee sabse uh, uh, big economy wise country in the eurozone. This is fully red. We ex no point holding these stocks. We exited well before this sell off. If we look at the 
Europe 600 stocks, which is the biggest of the Europe index, is down red. If we look at the S&P 500 global stock market ETF, down. If we look at the global stock market ETF, excluding the United States, US ka stock market chhod ke baki global stock market agar dekha jai overall, it's bearish. Really not a very suitable time to remain invested immense as a big time into equity as an asset class. It's a warning. This is a red flash. There is no worry. If the bullishness comes back, we will come back. But currently, broadly, equity exposure I have reduced. Nifty has been exceptionally bullish. One of the top, uh, one of the key market may say, a market hai, which is, but us may be a key momentum dikha, which has short term momentum now stand bearish. If we look at the daily chart, sorry, if you look at a more shorter time frame chart, this drop is very much visible. Hum log, mera jo nifty bank nifty color analysis hota hai, isme I have already talked about this weakness and it is 125 minutes mein quite visible ek aisa weakness hum log nahi dekhe until kafi time march 20th march so after a quite some long time th three four weeks uh, three weeks gap three four weeks gap so we are uh, seeing this kind of move again so equity tone it down tone it down square off okay hold it towards cash more and kuch more specific specific stocks definitely ye waisa sell off nahi ki every stock goes down some stocks will still go up find them and be cautious while kitna quantity of investor we had a good ride now that ride is coming under pressure and that is visible across the sector and i'm going to talk about this later when i do a weekend analysis of nifty bank nifty Broadly, we are talking about broader asset class. Ke mein baat kar rahe. Let's look at the dollar index. Dollar index, I will change the setup to set up to forex and currency. So, dollar index strongly going up. This is a super strong resistance, mount and top. Usi isko break kar chuka hai dollar. Next week, early, we may see some correction. And looks like dollar is likely to go up further. And because this dollar ko kya fuel kar raha hai, we have already talked about. So dollar may thoda bullish baits is not a bad idea. Now India may we are no longer able to do it, but with a proper exchange traded fund, say USDU, USDU, wisdom tree, US dollar bullish bets, US dollar bullish bet pe hum log thoda asset rakh sakte hain. But generally currencies are great for trading, not as an investment asset class or swing investment asset class. But yes, dollar is going up and the one that is going down is the euro. Euro is definitely under pressure and central bank policy divergence ke wajah se this uh, downside pressure is likely to remain. But it is within our range. I think it will operate. I don't see it dropping immediately below 1.03, 1.04. Uh, so a range may be doing 1.08 or 8 be possibly around 1.0. Yeah, 1.08 and 1.04. Yeah, 400 pips ke under it can uh, operate unless I see a major breakdown of the long term trend. So euro is bearish. Uh, weekly chart ko refer karke zada fayda nahi hota currency mein uh, for in terms of trading but we it's, it's a beautiful short trade jo rainbow has initiated and we are doing very very well uh, GBP USD similar picture it is going down if you look at USD JPY it is going up uh, isme market is concerned ki Bank of Japan is very notorious for its intervention in the market so it can intervention and uh, make an in intervene in the forex market and hit the stop loss but it's fundamental wise usd jpy is likely to remain on the upside pressure usd inr is that is is rbi is doing all to stop its rise 
but looks like USD INR is clearly on an upside uh, path. And it's now obviously RBI will try to carve the volatility, but it is the first move to carve the currency speculation is definitely uh, not working much because we need to change the fundamental to change the course of this currency. But Euro INR, since RBI maintains well the range, so Euro USD ka niche jana, matlab Euro INR, GBP INR, JPY INR, sub niche ke taraf downside pressure. Iske baad hum log jayenge commodities. Commodities mein we'll look at 125 minutes chart. We had a beautiful ride, but now it was, last day it was a good chance to square off those profits. Background yellow. Big spike, so there was a good reason to move out of the bullish bets for night. Now we are not selling, but we have moved. At least I have moved out of the bullish bets in the these metals because it is now seeing a correction. I will wait for a comeback like this, a full green time. Then I will go long again. Gold is the way it moved, as there was a flight to safety and towards more towards bonds gold saw a big down move as there was a spike spike i don't like spike ke baad. spike is one of the uh, only one not one of the only one weakness of the rainbow setup so whenever there is a spike i become cautious so gold and silver ka jo derivative position hai, that i've exited but i have increased the position in exchange traded fund Please do not follow my trades. Do your own analysis. I this is, these are not recommendations. These are just for guidance. Not recommendation about uh, what I am thinking, what I am doing. These are kind of guidance to the rainbow setup users. So 125 minutes, similar picture. Crude oil, like bullish attempt, diya tha, did, did not kuch hua nahi. Six to diya raha, 7217. Uske upar ek alert diya tha. So as it alert, this is the crude oil. Crude oil gave a quick alert. So you have to remain fast to act on the alerts. But act karke zada fayda nahi hua. Crude ka jo breakout, it could not sustain. As it started hitting my entry level after showing the breakdown, sorry, breakout, this position had to be exited. So now with the volatility increased, Better it to tone down what I'm going to do. I'm going to tone down my positions in derivative. And once again, I'll focus a bit on the ETF because exchange how the gold and silver behaves after this big spike. This is very important for my derivative position. I mean, sorry, for my ETF positions. So I'm still bullish fundamentally. I don't think the ride is completely over. So uh, I think it will continue, but with the now the increased volatility, we'll have to tone down our exposure in the, towards the derivative contracts. So here, uh, friends, the broad picture, overall international market, equities, bonds, currency, and commodities, Nifty and Bank Nifty will do separately. I hope your video aapko help kiya. If it helps, don't forget to like and subscribe. All the best to you and once again, happy trading.